Hello and welcome to yet another episode from the Victam Newsroom. My name is Gerrit Heikoop and I'm here looking for what's new, what's hot and what's important in the Victam community. And in this episode, I will be talking to Sammy Dridi, who is a researcher at the University of Arkansas. Sammy, welcome here in the studio. Thank you very much. First of all, we're here in Cologne, Germany. What made you travel all the way from Arkansas to this event? Yes, I am, I am interested in the new additives and alternatives for uh, animal nutrition and my main goal is to find uh, products that help us to improve feed efficiency. Yeah, because that's your main area of research, right? Feed efficiency in poultry? Yes. Can you share a little bit with us, what are you working on at the moment? Yes, my, my research area is interested in the, to understand the molecular mechanism that feed or nutrition improve growth and feed efficiency. And uh, the FIU estimated that by 2050, our need in eggs and meat will increase by 73%, which mean in 20... By means of the world population, you mean? Yes. Okay. And also the economic growth exactly. in many other exactly. countries, yeah. which mean in 30 years, we need to double our meat and egg production. Yeah. But at the same time, we are facing several challenges from steep projected of climate change, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, heat, stress, yeah. uh, uh, zoonos and uh, transmission of diseases, yeah. and uh, also the prohibition of the use of antibiotics. Exactly. Then we need to find alternatives that allow us to sustainably produce chicken or animals and to feed the future. Exactly. So we, so we need more animals, both for consumption and for the production of eggs, yet how are we going to feed them? Not only more animals, but also to improve and to the use quality. a their, yeah, high protein quality in environmental uh, friendly condition and to feed, to feed the future. And, and what are you currently, uh, uh, what projects are you currently under investigation? What, what measures are you investigating? Uh, now I am working with some uh, phytogenic plant, herbs extract in poultry nutrition. Okay. As I said, to, imp yeah. to improve the feed efficiency and the uh, poultry well-being and production. And, and, and do you have some preliminary, preliminary findings already? What, 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 what seems to, to happen with these uh, herbs? Yeah, the, the, you know, the, these herbs, they contain a lot of antioxidant, like a quercetin or melatonin, and those products alleviate the stress. You know, like poultry, they do not have a sweaty gland. Exactly. And also, they are highly productive, then they, can, they cannot cope very well with hot weather. Yeah. When we use the herbs, we alleviate that stress. We improve the well-being and the welfare of the, of the birds. And when you, know, you alleviate stress, automatically you improve growth. Better production. So yeah. basically, we're serving our poultry of the future a cup of herbal tea to uh, kind of keep them relaxed. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> if we, we simplify, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But our goal also to understand the mechanism, how those herbs or phytogenic or prebiotics works, exactly. whether at the central level, at the hypothalamic level, or at the peripheral level, you know, whether, you know, stress marker like corticosterone or, or gene expression or signaling pathways to understand how it works and how we can use them in the most efficient way to improve poultry productivity. And uh, when do you expect to, uh, to, to get, get your first results out? When will you uh, publish on this? Uh, we already published some. Yeah. Yeah, we, we already published. But you know, when you have some findings, that raise also more questions. And then it keeps, it keeps it's our It's an ongoing job. process. <laughs> yes. So if, yeah. if people watching this and who are really interested in, in, in this work and your findings, where can they go online to find more about it? Yeah, if, if you want to find some of our publications, just go to PubMed, P-U-B-M-E-D. Yeah. You put the last name and you will find the list of publications. Let's spell that one then, because PubMed is not that difficult, but D-R-I-D-I -I <laughs> yeah. is your last name, right? So uh, yeah. search for your publication right there. Yeah. Well, Sammy, thank you very much for uh, sharing your research here with us. And if you're interested in this research, like I said, find him on PubMed. 
or share this video with anyone who might be interested in serving a cup of herbal tea to poultry. And I know I'm over oversimplifying that, but that kind of sticks as an image. If you want to see more of these episodes from the Victim Newsroom, make sure you go to victim.com and sign up to our newsletter or subscribe to our social media channels. And I'm looking forward to meet you back in person at Victim Asia in 2018 or back here in Cologne at Victim International in 2019. Thank you for watching. Thank you for having me.